Hey guys, Brian, PS4 trophies, and on my quest to get the Platinum in God of War 3 remastered on the PS4, I realized there wasn't any good all-in-one collectible guides, so I figured, what the hell, here we go. Now, you have to find uh, Gor uh, Gorgon Eyes, Phoenix Feathers, and Minotaur Horns. Now, there's 12 of each that you need to max out your character. Now, you also have to find 10 ungodly possessions, and that is where our story begins here. Now, we're in Gaia's heart. And the first time you're here, what you want to do before you pull out that uh, the column, just climb up this uh, vines here. And up top here, you'll find our first godly possession. It is Zeus's eagle. Now, you need to find, again, 12 of the Gorgon eyes. And you're going to find the first one after you've been stripped of all your uh, health and magic right down here. Uh, just make your way down. You'll see the red chest and swing around to the opposite side and you'll find a Gorgon eye Now for every three you find it'll increase your health bar now There are more than 12 Gorgon eyes in the game But uh, if you find the first 12 all the other ones are going to turn into gigantic red orb chests That'll help you max out your character Now the first Phoenix feather is going to be right after you get the bow as soon as you get your bow before moving on Go ahead and burn these brambles up here by charging up the bow and then you're going to bring this uh, brambles over here, and then you're going to use your Icarus, Icarus wings to fly up into this opening to find your first phoenix feather. Again, just like the eyes, for every three, we'll upgrade your magic. Now our first minotaur horn is going to be right after the next checkpoint, save point rather, and all you need to do is burn the brambles right there and it will reveal another chest. Now this one, as well as the phoenix feathers, there's far more than 12. And uh, for every one you get after 12 will be the box of red orbs. Now our next Gorgon Eye is going to be, once you're outside, you're going to have to scale the side of this building. So kind of come up and around. And you're going to get up here and you're supposed to go to the right. Instead, go to the left and you'll see a waterfall right there. And then you'll see a second one with a chest right behind it. Now a little bit later we're going to get to the area with the three judges and once you come down uh, if you go to the back left corner you'll uh, be able to jump over to another platform and you'll see the chest. Now this area is interesting because you are going to come here again later in the game after you've already upgraded your character and all of the chests that are here will respawn. You'll be able to get all of these the second time for some reason. But now that we got three Gorgon eyes we're going to sacrifice them and that'll increase our health. So again, make sure when you come back here later in the game, you get all these chests again. Now a little bit later, after you've gone through a little teleport thing, you're going to come down this uh, passageway here. You got the two minotaurs that we took care of. And before moving forward, swing around to the right and you have another uh, teleport thing here. And that'll take you right to the, the minotaur horn chest right here. Now next Phoenix Feather is going to be after this puzzle. Uh, you're going to, once you complete it, be able to fly up here, grab onto this cage, which will lower, and you're supposed to go and fly further up from this point. Instead, you're going to find a door here. And if you open up this door, you actually get a trophy for finding the secret room in Hades. But back in the corner here, you can see right in front of us is going to be another chest, and inside of this one is a phoenix feather. Now, next one is going to be a Gorgon Eye, and that is going to be after you talk to this guy here. And then you're going to go to the left, and there's going to be a large door that you can't enter just yet, but just to the left of it is going to be the chest. Now, you will pass by here again later, so if you don't get this at this point in the game, you will uh, be able to see it later. And this is going to take us to another Phoenix Feather. Now, you're going to solve a puzzle here. This is where you got the guy uh, with the uh, chain here, and you uh, got a... Uh, use the lever to kind of get both of his hands uh, uh, kind of latched in there. But before you do any of that, or after, I guess it doesn't matter, go to the back left and you'll find this ladder, a couple red chests there, and a secret hidden gold chest. And the inside of this is the feather. And that is going to be our first uh, sacrifice for the phoenix feathers, and that'll increase our, our magic. Now, Hades Helm, this is a godly possession. This is in the exact spot where you defeated Hades. So he's going to fall down into the water and you need to dive down and you will find the helm that he left behind. So we got a couple uh, right here. This is where you use the harpies to kind of make your way across, kind of a tutorial 
to do that. But once you get to the end here, uh, before moving on, uh, we're going to get another one of these heart pieces to spawn, and we're going to kind of lure them to the rock right behind me, and uh, up there is going to be two uh, chests. Now you got to L, uh, L1 and circle to hold, grab onto this guy, and then you're going to use him to reach the higher platform. And here, of course, there's going to be a, a horn and an eye. And that is our third Minotaur horn, so that'll increase our item capacity. The item is going to be your uh, the boots that you'll get later in the game, and of course the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and open the chest for the Gorgon Eye as well, and that would be the second of third of that set. Now Helios' shield is after you kind of take his head off, and then you're going to use that as a, uh, as a lantern for the rest of the game. So after you've done that, just uh, around the corner is going to be, right in that burning rubble, is going to be the, uh, the uh, Helios' shield. So make sure you pick that up, but before you move on, there's also a gold chest that is now available. It wasn't there when you first uh, landed on this platform. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Now you're going to use that Helios' head to reveal hidden chests in the world. Uh, if you see gold dust, you just shine the head uh, and it'll reveal the location. Now when you get to the Path of Eos, you're going to just immediately go here and around the corner to the left and you'll find an eye. And that is going to also give us another health upgrade. And then there's going to be a phoenix feather. You're going to come in this dark passageway. You're going to have to use the head to see your path. And you're supposed to jump onto this chain right above us. But before you do that, jump down. Right below us is going to be the uh, gold chest. Now we're going to find a gorgon uh, eye just a little bit later. We're going to come up this passageway here. And you're going to see a, a health and magic box in front of us and a, some scaffolding to the right. So break that open and then use the head and then you can reveal a secret passage right here. Well, not so much a passage, but more like a gold chest. So there you go. And immediately after this, you're going to engage in a fight. And as soon as the fight is over, you're going to be able to continue on to the left. And you're going to see another health and magic box there. Just to the left of that is going to be a very well hidden gold chest. You'll never see it, but just look for the R1 prompt. All right, so we'll find another feather. You're going to be scaling this wall here, avoiding these falling, uh, burning rocks. And then you're going to eventually get to a platform we're going to drop down onto. But before moving on, you're going to see some gold dust. And if you shine the head of Helios on it, it'll reveal the gold chest. So make sure you do that. There's quite a few chests like this in the game where you have to use the head. And there's another magic upgrade for us. Now the next Minotaur Horn is once you get to this area here, it's uh, ultimately going to be where the Labyrinth is. Uh, you're going to drop down to this platform here, and then you're going to have to use the uh, burn the brambles over there with an arrow. But in the back right corner here, use the head of Helios to reveal this hidden chest. Now you got a Gorgon Eye. Once you get to this room here, you're supposed to use the, uh, the head lantern thing again to, to reveal the paintings in the left there. But, but if you go back by this chain, you're going to use the head here to reveal another hidden area. Now this is an area you will return to later in the game, so make sure you come back because these will also respawn. So Hermes' coin is after you've chased him down here and you're going to get the boots, and you're going to see the head of a statue back here. If you just go around to the right side, you'll see the, uh, the prompt here for R1. Pick that up, and that is of course another godly treasure. Now a phoenix feather is going to be uh, just a little bit past that after you've gotten the boots and you're going to climb up this wall here and then you're going to have to kind of run around the side of this one here. And once you do that you'll see some gold dust in front of you. So use the head to shine it on here in the corner. And there's a feather and the next one's going to be another minotaur horn. And that is going to be, once you get out here and you're supposed to go into this door, you're going to fight a few Cyclopses in this area. But before you go into this door, uh, run around the left side of this building and then you'll uh, reach a dead end path with uh, some red chests and a gold chest with the horn.
and that will be another item uh, upgrade for us. And the next Phoenix Feather is going to be here. This is where you got to kind of hit the musical notes there. And uh, what you need to do is get up to the top. You're going to line the sword. Now, to the right side, there's going to be a, a red orb chest. But if you go up to the left side here, you're going to use your Icarus, Icarus wings. Now, once you're up here, go to the left and you've got the uh, Phoenix Feather in this box. So moving on to the next Gorgon Eye, you're going to go down a set of stairs. Now you've seen a set of stairs like this winding staircase earlier, except you went up it. This is the second set when you go down, it's a completely different set. At the bottom there, you got to use the Helios' head in order to reveal the location of the Gorgon Eye, which will give us another health upgrade. Now Hercules' is shoulder guard, this is after you the battle with Hercules, you will both fall down here. And he is going to drop the shoulder guard once he hits the water. Now all you need to do is so swim down there and go and get it. And then shortly after this, you're going to swim through this tunnel here, this passageway. And once you emerge up on this side, turn around and you will see a red orb chest and of course the minotaur horn in this one. Now you're in the going to meet this woman here in Poseidon's uh, uh, home, I guess, if you want to call it that. Before you go through that uh, teleport thing there, go here to the corner and you've got another godly possession. It's the conch shell. Now don't leave this area because there is a Gorgon Eye just right next to it. So make sure you get both of those before moving on. So at the end of this area, you're going to have this little cutscene here with the statue. So before you leave this area, you're going to have another hidden chest. you got to use the head lantern thing. So make sure you open that. And now we're going to go find a horn. And this is going to be, uh, well, I'm sure you'll recognize this area, but it is where the uh, infamous sex scene is located, which you'll get a trophy for if you complete it properly. And just to the right corner there is a horn, so make sure you get that. And then approach the bed, complete the uh, little mini sex mini game. But before going on, just go around to the back and you'll find Aphrodite's, or Aphrod, whatever, garter. Now shortly after that, you're going to talk to that big dude again, and then you're going to come to this area, tar uh, to Tardis. And this is a gold chest that's going to be right in the open. You're not going to miss it, hopefully. I suppose you could if you're blind. Another Phoenix Feather. Now you're going to find a Gorgon Eye. You're going to have this puzzle here. And what you need to do is get to the very top. But halfway up, we are going to find an eye on a very secret ledge. Very well hidden, this one is. So we're going to use the Harpy here to get up to this platform. Then we're going to go up two more blocks. And once we're on this block here, we're going to jump and glide over to this platform here. And there you go. Pretty well hidden, this one was. Now you're going to get a uh, feather. As soon as you complete that puzzle, this door is going to open. And just to the left of that save point, there is a gold chest. So make sure you don't uh, get distracted by the save point. Now we're going to follow this path down a little bit. And then we're going to have to make a jump over. And there's a nice little crevice here to the right. A little hidden area. And that will complete another minotaur horn set. Alright, so we're going to find a ring. Now, after you've defeated the, the big dude that you've seen a few times and got the Nemesis Whip, uh, before moving on, go over here to the left and he dropped his ring, so we're going to pick that up. Pretty damn big ring, if you ask me. Now you're going to come to this nice fun puzzle area where you got to use this crossbow thing. What you need to do is pull this lever up, and then we're going to jump up onto this platform. And then we're going to fire this arrow into the gate right in front of us, which will open that up. And that'll allow us to leave the area. However, there's a lot of chests here that we need to open. So the first one is the Phoenix Feather and Daedalus' Schematics. So to get this one, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fire this arrow. But before we do that, we have to lower those two, uh, those two boxes up there. So to do that, go ahead and use the boots to climb up this wall. And then you're going to pull this lever that's right in front of me, and this is going to lower the two gold chests. 
So now when we fire that crossbow, it's going to break the chain, allowing us to loot the contests of those boxes. So we're going to go jump down there. The right one, I believe, is the Phoenix Feather. And we're going to actually, this is a fun area because if you've gotten all the uh, chests up to this point, you're going to unlock a few trophies. So the first one is the Phoenix Feather. That is going to give us the Feather Plucker trophy, and that is for completely maxing out our magic. And then we're going to go and open the other box, and that's going to be the Godly Possession. Now there's a couple more in here, so before we move on, we're going to turn this back to the left, and then we're going to fire this again. There's actually three more gold chests in this area, so there's quite a bit here for you to get. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to have to go through, climb this uh, rope here, and then we're going to climb all the way over to the other side. Now inside of here is going to be the Gorgon Eye, and that will give you the Eye Candy Trophy. Again, provided you got all the eyes up to that point. Now if you did miss any of these, uh, there are extra chests, many of them uh, past this point. But you do want to get these now while so that those other ones are big gigantic red orb chests. Now we lowered the platform and we're going to find our way to a Minotaur Horn. So we just fired that and then we're going to jump through this portal here. And now you have to jump out and then over to catch this rope. At which point you can make your way all the way down to get this Minotaur Horn. So we still have two more of those to get before we get that trophy. So our next box is going to be after we kind of leave this area. And once you drop down here, uh, turn around and go behind you because you will find the chest and a, a red orb chest as well. So there's our second Minotaur Horn, just one more left. Now Hero's Chalice, this is uh, in the garden area. You're going to have this cutscene with this woman and you're going to see her toss it off the side. Now all you need to do is go walk over there and get it. So she's going to talk for a minute or two. But after that's over, just walk over there and you'll automatically pick it up. And this will also be our last possession here. So we are going to get a uh, gold trophy for this one. There you go, priceless. All right, so there's a few chests in this area. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of the extra ones as well. But if you go back the other way, uh, there's a bunch of red chests over here. But there's some gold dust here you wanna shine the headlight onto. And this one is going to uh, be filled with red orbs. So that means it would have had a phoenix feather or a gorgon eye, but because I've already got all of them, it turned it into red orbs. So after you go through this second gate here, you're going to make your way around. you kind of got a top-down view here. Next to these red boxes is going to be another hidden one for us. And then inside of here is going to be some more red orbs. Now the final Minotaur horn that we're going to have to get is once you complete the first uh, kind of the first big puzzle, you're going to be able to open up this gate. You have to come over here as part of the story path. And then you're gonna jump down and you're supposed to jump over this gap. But instead of jumping over the gap, jump up and then use your wings here to get into this little hidden area over here. And that'll be the final Minotaur horn. Now there's a lot of other chests uh, past this. So make sure you go and check those out. Uh, I'll show you a couple here. This is just after that, use the harpies to get over. Um, there's going to be three of them on top of the labyrinth uh, once you've done that. Uh, make sure you get those three before you talk to the girl and then you will return there again a little bit later So you can loot those same three again um, So then you go back to the uh, three judge area and you will get uh, To be able to loot all of those chests in that area a, a second time as well as a couple new ones So that's it guys. I want to thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you could please comment and of course subscribe